Hi, I'm Brianna Packin with the Distinctive Style magazine. Tonight we're here at Fasenab for Urban Sanctuary's benefit for Safe Horizon. Uh, behind me we've got the red carpet. On the red carpet there's also a toy drive going on. Upstairs we've got different vendors and promotions going on this evening where a portion of all of tonight's proceeds will go to the Safe Horizon charity. Come on inside. Safe Horizon is, is a place where people can go when they are dealing with domestic violence and, and abuse. And there aren't many places like that. In New York, when you call, I just found this out tonight, and you report something, you're directed to, to this organization uh, and, and told where you can go for relief and, and, and to be safe. So um, I have it up on my website this week, kellyrutherford.com. Um, please find out more about it and, and get involved if, if you do have time and you do um, do like to give back. It's such a, a great, as you get older you realize the rewards of that. I'm here today with Diana Moon who organized uh, this Safe Horizon charity this evening. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the event? Sure. Um, we actually work very closely with Urban Sanctuary and, and actually all of the, the vendors that are involved. And um, they have been very generous and have been willing to orchestrate this fabulous tour drive and to donate a portion of the proceeds from the two-day shop and so we're thrilled. That's wonderful. Um, in addition to tonight's event, um, I saw that uh, December is Human Rights Awareness Month it's with uh, Safe Horizon. What does that entail? Well, we deal with all types of victimization, so um, mainly with victims of domestic violence, child abuse, victims of human trafficking, and we also work with homeless youth who have been pretty much victimized throughout their lives, and that's why they're homeless. So, you know, each of those um, groups sort of deal with their own issues and, and the basic human rights. So it's an important month for us and for many, many, many organizations. Right. Um, also, with the um, one thing that I loved about uh, one of the quotes that I had seen was turning crisis into confidence. Yes, absolutely. Uh, what is your view for that? What are the ways that you want the victims to do this? You know, what's really important to us as, a, as an agency is that each person that we deal with, each client that we deal with, sort of sets her, his or her own goals. We mostly deal with women in, in their own path as to their recovery. So we work with, we don't dictate to people, these are the things you need to do. It's really working with them to sort of discover what they need to get themselves to safety and into the next phase of their lives. Uh, as for the, the victims uh, that are going to be benefited directly from this, it's mostly uh, the children and women uh, with domestic abuse? abuse. Yes, we also deal with um, victims of child abuse as well. So we, um, we deal with these types of victims in different ways. We have emergency shelters, we have transitional shelters, we have something called a child advocacy center where children who have been um, physically or sexually abused come and, and um, it's an amazing place where they can really uh, not only talk to us, but work with um, the police and the, uh, the DA's office and child services. And we also have a medical facility, on, uh, medical services on staff. And um, so those are the different types of uh, so the children that come to either the shelters or through these um, sites will receive these fabulous toys and the donations from today. So we're very excited. Yeah, you make it very safe for them to come forward we and do. be protected. Particularly in the child advocacy centers, we found that um, children who were abused had to tell their story between 11 and 19 times. And when they come to the child advocacy center, they can tell their story once. There's one person interviewing them, and the other partners are observing the interview so that all the information can be gathered. The child feels safer, doesn't have to tell the story. You know, sometimes children, when they're, they're put under these very stressed, they're already in very traumatized situations. And in the stress of having to tell their story over and over again, wondering whether people don't believe them or why are they telling your story so many times and it's just it has much better results for the child and it has much better results for all the agencies involved. Yeah. And telling it once is also probably more therapeutic for them as well. Absolutely. To know that it's validated and believed and understood. Absolutely. Absolutely. How
how would you say is a good way for New Yorkers to get involved in this charity? Well, we have so many needs. You know, we have about 57 sites throughout New York City. We serve every borough, and we always need you know people to be involved either with their time or we always need uh, donations. So that's wonderful. Um, there are so many different things that they can do. Uh, we, a lot of the women that are in the domestic violence shelters are fleeing really dangerous situations, so they often leave without anything. So we have um, we do drives for um, toiletry items or clothing, things for children, um, things that we use every day that we take for you know for granted that people leave in these situations don't have access to. Or a child who um, has been victimized may have not be able to go back to his or her house, and so they would have to be placed in foster care or whatever with a relative, and they might not have any um, any belongings with them. So we always could use uh, different types of drives as well. What about for the people that are not in this area specifically? What is the best way? Would you say donations through your website? I donations through our website. Yeah, too. Absolutely. That is a, a wonderful way to get involved and to really um, to talk about the issues. I think you know we've made so much progress. This agency has only been around for 30 years, and the issues of the violence that we address has been around forever. And really to talk about these issues and, and, and make people aware that they're very prevalent and they need to be addressed. And, and it's not um, a shameful situation where you can seek help and talk to others about it. How do you see the shame stopping them? Do you see it um, first not not even being able to get their story out? I think it depends on the different types of victimization that we deal with, but I think it's difficult to, um, I think it's difficult, it's often someone you know or love that's victimizing you, and I think that's a very difficult thing for someone to come to grips with themselves and go alone talk to someone else about. And know that it's not their right. fault. They're, they're not exactly. doing something wrong. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Diana. What is your goal for tonight? Our, our goal is definitely, well, it's the holidays, and so we were very excited about the children and, as I just said, spread the, the word about what we do and, and you know, that there's help for New Yorkers out there, so we really are excited about this evening. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Brianna Packin with Diana Moon from Safe Horizon, signing off for a Distinctive Style magazine.